Hi there. I had the amazing opportunity a few years ago to tour around part of America with some friends and we went to um, a few different cities and areas uh, which were just beautiful and amazing. Um, and on one of the mornings we woke up and were due to set off to uh, our next destination and we left the hotel that we'd been staying in and got in the car and my friends were in the front seats and uh, set up sat nav and off we went. And about half an hour after setting off, we glimpsed uh, the hotel that we'd stayed in the night before. And we were really confused and my friend fiddled with the sat-nav and we set off again. And about half an hour later again, we saw the same hotel. And there was a bit of a, an argument breaking out in the front and tempers were getting fraught when one of my friends suddenly realised that the sat-nav had reverted to the destination of the day before. And it really struck me when I was thinking about my reflection today that the destination that we're heading towards is really important. And it feels at the moment that having a sense of purpose about what we're doing and being intentional is, is more important than ever because so much of life feels out of control. And in those areas where we can take some control and some responsibility, it feels really important to do that. So I wanted to think just very briefly about some things that I found helpful in having a sense of purpose and, and keeping that purpose and that purposefulness when things are tough. The first thing that I found useful is the idea of beginning with the end in mind and that's not my phrase, it comes from somebody called Stephen Covey who's written a lot about management and about vision and goals and those sorts of things. And I suppose the story that I started with really is about starting with the end or the destination in mind. We need to know where we're going in order to get there. And I don't know what goals or aims or ambitions you have. I don't know what dreams you have about the future. But I think for all of us, that sense of having things that we are aiming towards or aspiring to do or to be helps us to know where to start but also gives us that sense of inspiration and that willingness to persevere when things get tough. We're perhaps limited in what we can do at the moment but we can all dream some dreams or have some ideas or research some things that might inspire us for the future. Maybe think about people who inspire us or who we see as role models and what we can learn from them. So beginning with the end in mind can really help us to have that sense of purposefulness and intention in what we're doing. The second thing that I've found really helpful is uh, the idea of having goals. And I've talked a little bit about that over the past few weeks and about how difficult it is at the moment to kind of set big goals and keep to them. And I think the idea of um, bite-sized goals or small achievable realistic goals is a really helpful one at this time. So it might be that we feel we're lacking in energy or it may be actually we feel really inspired at the moment but we can all set some goals or targets. My friend, uh, one of my friends talks about uh, little wins, the idea of doing some small things that help you really feel like you've achieved something. And it might be that there's some little wins that you can find today to, walk, to work towards uh, the things that you are aiming for and that will give you that sense of purpose. I really feel that goals release energy and help us when we're feeling um, a bit discouraged or we're finding it hard. I think lists are our friends when it comes to that sort of thing. It helps us to uh, be inspired to persevere and keep going. The third thing that I found really helpful is starting where we are. That might sound obvious, in some ways we haven't got a choice. We are all starting from where we find ourselves. But I think we can use quite a lot of energy wishing we were somewhere else, wishing we were someone else, wishing that we had the gifts and skills and abilities that others have, or even the determination, uh, the self-control or the self-discipline that others have. But we're all different, we're all unique. And I think a real key for me in achieving goals has been finding 
either the first small step or the next small step towards where I'm aiming for. It's great having dreams, it's really important to have aspirations, but if we never take those next small steps, then we're never going to reach them. The Apostle Paul, who wrote quite a lot of the New Testament, lots of letters to young churches, talks about the idea of life um, as an athlete and use the image or picture of an athlete as a way of thinking about how we approach life. And I think that can be really helpful when it comes to having a sense of purpose. Athletes begin with the end in mind. They have a sense of where they want to be, what they want to achieve. Whatever their sport or discipline, they're aiming towards something and they set goals as they go along to help them achieve. And they also start with those first small steps or those next small steps. It may be that you see yourself as an athlete in life. It may be that that image doesn't resonate with you at all. But perhaps this week you could think a little bit about your sense of purpose about what you want to do with your life, who you want to be, and how you're going to get there. Begin with the end in mind. Set some goals and think about that next small step.